How's it going guys and welcome to a JHR microscope review. We're going to be looking at the difference between live human blood and dried human blood. Now these were both taken from me using my diabetic poker. I use this on a daily basis so it's not really a big deal for me. So we're going to put this under a microscope that is hooked up with a camera directly to my PC so you guys can see this really up close. Let's go ahead and check out the microscopic world. All right, so the first slide we're gonna be doing is the live human blood. So let's go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and find the blood itself. There we go. And now we just need to zoom in. We're gonna turn down the lighting a little bit so that we can get a good look. Wow, look at that. So you can actually see, if we try to focus in a little bit more, you can actually see the individual blood cells. They kind of just look like tiny little dots though. So this is the farthest away zoom. It goes in about probably 900 times more than this. Um, so we're gonna get a really good look at these uh, in a minute. But this is basically what it looks like at a glance. And, ooh, wow, look at that. You can actually see the uh, end of, like, the blood right there, like the edge. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a red ocean. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. So we're going to zoom this out. And then we're going to switch to the next zoom. Whoa. All right, let's turn down the lighting a little bit. Oh, do you see that movement right there? There's a little bit of movement in there. That's so interesting. All right, let's see if we can move this around just a little bit. I'd love to be able to, oh, there it is. Look at that. Let's see how we can focus in a little bit more. How crazy is that? You know, it's crazy because it just came out of my body like a minute ago, too. So seeing, like, all these little things that are currently inside of me right now, it's kind of a, kind of a trippy experience, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out again. And now we're going to go to the one that zooms in the farthest. All right, so it took me a second to uh, get a proper zoom. But uh, here we are. We got a little bit of the blood cells on here and uh, we focus in a little bit. You can kind of see their shapes. It's really interesting. It almost looks like a mosaic art piece of some sort. It's really interesting stuff. If, if it sounds like I'm talking from the side, it's because I'm looking at my monitor while doing this because um, you can actually see on your computer screen what you're seeing through the microscope because it has a built-in camera, so it's really cool. I bought this specifically for the channel. So this has been live human blood, and honestly, it doesn't move around as much as I thought it would. I, I've looked at this before um, on a worse, much worse, like $20 microscope, and I didn't really see any movement either. So I'm not too surprised. I think maybe it would be like slow, gradual movement, or maybe we're just not able to get that super zoom in that we need. But let's go ahead and switch to the dried human blood. All right, I got the slide on of the dried human blood, or the <laughs> JHR blood, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in on this using the first zoom. Whoa. Look at that. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, lightning bolts or something. Kind of like um, scattered, you know, like, like, or you know what? Cracks on, like, a... In, in like really soft kind of like dirt you know they get all cracked up kind of reminds me of that too that is super interesting let's see if we can move it around a little bit you know i think that all these tiny little ones right here are the individual actual cells it's kind of hard to tell because they've already decayed so much 
because this is a slide from about, I'd say, a few months ago. Really interesting. Let's go ahead and switch to the second zoom. All right, I went ahead and found the focus point. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Almost there, almost there. Wait, and fine tune it. Wow, look at that. That is really interesting. You literally could take that and like, I don't know, fill in like the color or something, you know what I mean? You could do like a, it almost looks like a abstract art piece. That's so weird. I like how like all of the cracks in there are like super defined and they're all different shapes. And this is all just my blood. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the last zoom. Now this one is going to zoom in really far. All right, so I found the zoom point. Let's go ahead and focus in. Whoa, look at that. That is insane. That's really crazy. You know, I kind of like the look of the dried human blood versus the uh, the live human blood. Because it like everything's so unique and looking, you know what I mean? That is so cool. But yeah, this is this is uh this is a series that I want to continue on. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, in the description below, I'm gonna go ahead and link where I got the microscope itself. And if you want to drop by my Patreon, I have a bunch of different uh, tiers that you can help support the channel for purchases like this. But yeah, huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.